Hello and welcome back everybody to Kerbal Space Program, everybody's favorite shoot 'em into space game. So, uh what do we do today? I haven't a clue. Let's uh uh I don't know. Let's see. Do we have any active contracts? No, we've got oh we do, we've got three uh we need a focused observational survey of Kerbin, we can do that. <clears throat> so we'll start off there. Um, let's see what else we have available to us real quick to get our day going. Ferry VIP, Ferry 2 Tours, can't do that. Uh, Hall Mark 55 Thud, liquid fuel engine into flight above Kerbin. How high do we got to go? 29,000 to 35,000? Ooh, those are so difficult. Uh, test the Mark 1 parachute in flight over Kerbin. Altitude 3,000 to 11,000 between 20... Oh, yeah, we could do that one. We're gonna take that contract. <clears throat> mm. uh, radial mount parachute in flight over Kerbin, 4007. Yep, we could do that one. Uh -huh. And what else can we do? Anything? Um, that gives us five contracts. I think that's fine for right now. Let's get busy. Um, also, one other thing I want to do. I don't know if we have the means to do it just yet, but we're going to find out. We have got to get more science going. Um, and I think the best way to do that is to start off with a, a spaceship. Let's slap on the parachute. We'll do just fine. Um, cra ooh, service bay. That'd be handy, maybe. We still don't... Oh, we do We do have some science. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and tack that on there. Then we're going to throw on a heat shield. Um, aerodynamics? Yep. Aerodynamics. Let's give ourselves some fuel. We need money, too. Because one of the problems I had last time is that the landing pad only had so much weight, and it was troublesome. Uh, we couldn't build as big of a rocket as we wanted, or as I wanted, and that gave us issues on what we could do. Uh, swivel shall do. Yeah, yeah. I think. I think. Oh my God! My, oh, my cat just jumped off and scared the hell out of me. <laughs> Stinking cats. She's gonna start meowing for attention here in a second because I'm talking. She thinks anytime I'm talking to somebody. It's to her, so she likes to talk back. She's she's old. She's like, I don't know, 22, 23, something like that. Ancient for cat. But she is not an astronaut, so we shan't concern ourselves with her unless she wants out. No. God, Callie, what are you doing back there? What a nutsoid. Cats. They're, uh, they're very weird. <laughs> very, very weird. Um... Hmm, I think, how do we want to do this? Let's put on this separator. And then we'll attach a solid fuel booster to the center. Yep. And we shall radially mount some decouplers. Yep, I will take two of those. Alright. Ooh, I want my uh, symmetry and I want snap. There we go. Uh, that is not right, is it? Eh. Yeah, that's right. I'm a little off-center here. There we go. And let's get some more boosters on there. What do we got? I guess just two more of these. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, I'm not planning on going to orbit. What I want to do, let's see. These two fire. Correctamundo. Then those release. Correctamundo. Then that one fires. Correctamundo again. It releases. That fires. Ooh. You know what I forgot to do? <laughs> uh, structural. That's what I needed to do. Cool. So, let's... Uh, let's add some fins to this, because we will need some stability. I think some big old suckers will do it. Can I get four of them on there? Eh. Turn off the snap. Mm -hmm. It's only gonna let me do those. Well, okay. 
I can work with that. Let's see, we'll stick the let's turn the snap back on. Put a these uh line ourselves up. Thusly and two more no, you know what? Four more right there, I think we'll do it. Yeah! That's looking very rocket-esque. Oh, but, 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 you know what? We got a lot of weight. And what I'm concerned with is that parachute we had may not be sufficient to uh, bring both the capsule and our science bay back to Earth uh, safely. So, let's do... Actually, let's compare these real quick. Um, let's see... Max deploy, full deployment, semi-minimum pressure. That does not tell you how much weight it will carry. Huh. Hmm. Well, eh, okay, whatever. We're, that's what we're going to use. I've decided. Executive decision. Stick a couple of those on there. Just like that. Now we got two. Hopefully, we are not too heavy. Oh, barely making it underneath the 18-ton weight limit. We need cash to upgrade our launch facility because that out there, not cutting the cheese. But, 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 what I want to do is when we get out here, I'm going to turn on SAS. And hopefully... We can launch this and get far enough north that we can get into a new biome because I wish to collect some science. So, uh, let's check our staging again. Yep, correct, 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 incorrect. <laughs> I have discovered a problem. There we go. Now we're good. Now we're good. Yep, we're good. Alright, and I'm not going to bother with the contract thing because we aren't doing a contract right now. We're doing science. So, let's start rolling ourselves north. Sort of. Here we go. Oh, oh. Abort. <laughs> uh, I think this will still work. I just uh, maybe need to not roll us over so fast so soon. So, let's start going north once again, just a little north. Not a whole lot north, just a little north. Oh, 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 oh. Yep, there we go. This is looking better. This is, this is looking better-ish. Aboard. <laughs> oh my god. Why is this so difficult? It makes my heart hurt. <laughs> um, I guess... I'm going to get rid of these. And see if we can't get away without them. And instead... Put two more fins here. I think... Oh my god, this mouse... I had my mouse break this week. Uh, I have a pretty good Logitech mouse. Um, one of the MX, I think it's MX Revolution. Um, got it on eBay, and I knew, I knew it was used when I got it, so I didn't expect it to last very long. And it's lasted about a year, and it was old when I got it. But it's dead now, and I now realize just how much. I appreciate that thing because now I'm having to use whatever spare mice I have laying around and none of them are any good. Very upsetting. <laughs> Very upsetting. Fortunately this isn't a first person shooter, otherwise I'd be smoked. Instead this this uh, this mouse I have will suffice. Let's, uh, let's get our turn north going on. Boy it does not want to go north. Wow. All right, that's fine. I know how to do this. We're just gonna go straight up. Ooh, I'm having a hard time staying straight up. My SAS is complaining. I see a real slight wobble. Real slight wobble. 
Come on. Get us out of the atmosphere at least a little bit. Boom. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm gonna revert to the vehicle assembly. <laughs> Shoot! Shoot dang and blast. Oh, dang knuckle dragon other puncher. Hmm. Okay, yeah, let's fix the staging real quick because that was bad, okay? This needs to go there. I still need to add another one here, okay? There we go. Is that good? That's good, okay? Alright, now let's launch. Let's try that again. I just want some science. It's so hard to, to just reach out and grab it. Grab what's rightfully mine. Let's launch SAS. Jebediah in the hot seat, doing what he does. Come on, rockets. Alright, we're going faster than I really care to in low atmosphere, but I think I think this for this it uh it'll be just fine. As long as my SAS can keep me vertical, please keep me vertical. Not this time, it looks like. Oh my god, why is that so difficult? Revert flight to the assembly building again. Uh, do we need more fins? Would that help? I mean, it would. Um, hmm. Maybe get rid of these and use. see if we could fit four of the smaller ones on here. Nope, oh, just four. Thank you. And let's stick it in the corner. Oh, we, we could do four of the smaller ones. Is that wrong? Nope. Oh, come on now. Shift in. How's that? Eh, pretty good. All right. I don't think those are going to be big enough, but we are going really fast by the time those outer ones drop off. So we'll see if that works. I hope it does. I hope it does. We've got a lot of weight forward, which is why it keeps doing that. Our center of mass is real real far in front, and our center of thrust is real far behind, and the center of thrust is trying to catch up really hard to the center of mass, which also happens to be close to the center of pressure, I think. Uh, I don't know if it's called the center of drag. Doesn't matter. Doesn't be launching. We going. Now my goal is to get far enough north we can get into some snow, and that will be considered a new biome, and that will give us good science. And I've got the science module on there, so hey, should be good to go. Should be gravy, baby. I can keep this thing vertical. Boom. Okay, we're good. We're good. Those are falling away. Can I get pointed northward a little bit now? No, it looks like we are just going to cruise up to altitude. Look, we're at 12,000 meters already, almost said feet. This is science. We use meters up right here. Alright, boom. How's that? Let's throttle up real hard. I want to keep my momentum going. And, oh yeah, baby, much more controllable. Oop. Keep on north. I'm pretty much using the, uh, solely the gimbal at the bottom, or the ball. Uh, I think technically it is a gimbal. And I want to be pretty, pretty shallow. We're into some pretty thin atmosphere, so really what I'm after right now is lateral velocity. And as a matter of fact, if we go to our orbital map, we shall see how good I get. Uh, not going to be nearly good enough. How's my feel doing? Well, I don't know. Maybe. Look at us go! Oh, oh, oh! Not quite far enough. We're we're getting into this northern ocean up here. Oh, and now we're in space. Music changed. All right. Well, uh, since that's out of fuel, let's ditch that. It does no good. It'll chase us for a little while. Um, what is our apoapsis going to be? Our apoapsis. Oh, I should have went shallower if I. Oh, I didn't even check that. Look at that. Oh, we so could have made it to the ice. That being said, though, that being said, uh, we're probably gonna die. 
<laughs> because uh, look at look at how uh, steep our reentry is going to be. We are going to be cooking, and um, mm, I'm heavy, and we're going to be cooking. So this may not this may not do at all. So let's jump back in here. And when we get to Apoapsis, I think I'm going to try for a crew report. So let's let ourselves... There we go. We're up pretty high. Will this give me new science? Crew report. Oh, it does. 7.5 science. Heck yeah. And let's observe the material bay. What will that give us? Oh, 37.5 science. This is what I'm after. I really, really, really hope I survive re-entry now. Because <laughs> that was some major research capability right there. Let's just warp ourselves through. Eh, the moon! Hello, moon! And now, time for everybody's favorite part, Grilled Jebediah. You know, uh, I wanted to mention you guys, too, if you're playing at home, 1.1 has been released with some... Uh, pretty, uh, I won't say major updates to the front side, to the interface and all that. There's a, there's a few, um, but really it switches from uh, the, I think it goes up to uni, uh, <laughs> words, so difficult some days. I record these late at night after my day's done, so I'm tired and my words don't work. No, I think it, uh, it uses Unity 5 now, if I'm not mistaken, so um Pretty, pretty big on the back end. Some pretty big changes on the back end. Um, I don't know what that means if you guys use mods or anything. Let's go ahead and take SAS off as we are starting to dip back down into the atmosphere. We were so close to that snow. Speaking of which, that render is not coming in very well. Why for my render not well? Oh, about to get all kinds of hot up in here. Oh yeah, there we go. And the worst part is we're, we didn't even make it to the ocean. Oh man, listen to those sonic booms. I guess that's what that is. Oh, please slow down much, much fast. Please slow down much, much very fast. We, oh man. The rule of thumb that I like to use is to keep my meters per second lower than my altitude. And right now I'm at 11, that, 1100 meters per second. I was at 8,000 meters. Although, maybe, come on, slow down, baby. 3,000 meters. Oh, we're gonna get this. Boom! Boom! Who's your scientific daddy? I'm your scientific daddy. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, I gotta get rid of that. I got a ruler on my desk for one of my other projects I got going on. I keep knocking into it. Good metal one. Hard to find nowadays. All right, how far are we above the ground? I don't even know. I'm honestly, I wasn't prepared to actually make it back alive. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of stunned that Jebediah is in one piece. Well, that uh, that goes to show you, atmospheric pressure increases as you decrease in altitude, and that is a good, very good thing. In aviation, it's called uh, density altitude. You're out to, uh, because all, all altitude is based on density, right? As far as physiologically and, and physics is concerned. Uh, if you're on a planet with air density the same as sea level on Earth, um, you know, if you're on another planet at like say a, a top of a mountain, but a denser atmosphere, physics are gonna act the same on that mountaintop as so long as the air density is the same. So it's called density altitude uh, because that's what makes a difference. And in this game, this simulation, uh, it certainly plays a huge effect on how your spacecraft slows down as it gets lower and lower through the atmosphere the density increases sufficiently to bring your craft down to a manageable parachutable speed fantastic and we are just hanging in the air uh, <laughs> I don't even see my shadow let's move this along it's cold this far north and Jebediah wants to go home so we'll bring them down to the suite. And uh, with all that science, we'll go do a little research and maybe tackle a contract. Who knows? Who knows what's in store for Jebediah and his fearless crew of green-skinned countrymen? 
I like that phrase, green skin countrymen. <laughs> oh, sp let's go ahead and take off time warp. But doink and recover the vessel, everything intact, loads of science, party had by all. 65 science. We got 45 science off that one mission. Man. Shoot, I am okay with that. Let's research something. Uh, what do we need to research? Oh, we really need some some more rocketry. Um, basic science would give us the Staputnik Mark I, the Z100 rechargeable battery packed. Battery packed. <laughs> it's a battery promise. No, uh, rechargeable battery pack. The Z7100, the Z100 battery pack is a standard model for electrical applications. Holds two AAAA batteries and holds a maximum 100 units of charge. <laughs> because you know, uh, double uh, triple A's are smaller than double A's, so quadruple A's would be smaller than triple A's. Uh, thermometer, hey, that's good to have. Radiator panel. And another radiator panel and comms. Ooh, so we could beam back. You know, here's the thing with transmitting data back. If you're on a deep space mission, let's say we're going to Duna or somewhere else, somewhere long, long away and far, far in the future. Uh, <laughs> uh, having a comms relay data transmitter like this would be really good because you don't want to have to fly back with all that data because you'll be hitting multiple places along one one flight path can't hold all that data it's got to come home so you'd lose out on a ton of science if you didn't take the hit and at least lose the percentage that you lose when you transmit it uh, but that being said right now we are not doing those things so that is not important to me so we are not going to get the science package uh, we could do flight controls um, yeah yeah flight controls could be good uh, general construction. Oh, this would allow us some things. You notice we have a uh, crew cabin, which means we could stick three Kerbals in a in a tin can and launch them. We could have the pilot and then the capsule and then two passengers, which I know we have a contract for that. So that may be really good. A structural fuselage uh, and the Rockwell Max brand adapter. I don't have much use for that just yet. We need bigger rocks to take advantage of that. What do we got in the advanced rocket tree? Ooh, bigger fuel tank and an engine. Ah, uh, guys, I'm torn. Um, heavy rocketry requires 90. Well, I am torn. I kind of... We need money. Here's the thing, we need money. Uh, we we got to update our launch pad facility because our rockets are getting too big to, to launch from there. We had that happen last time. So that's what we're doing. And since we need money, we're taking that so we can get a hold of that contract and secure our financial future. Does anything else? 45, 45, all 45. So we're about uh, 25 short, which we will pick up at a later time. But for right now, let's look at the contract that requires us to carry some VIP peeps. And I'm going to save this craft, by the way. I said this, we would do this last episode, and I never did. Uh, science Special. Yep, Science Special. So he's saved. Now, uh, let's get rid of him. Well, you know, yeah, let's get rid of everything below the capsule. Uh, you know, let's get rid of the capsule too, just for. Let's see. Take a crew report in flight above 19,000. Yep, we got to get that done. And I might be able to do that actually with the uh, with that uh, science special aircraft. So we've got to take suborbital on Kerbin with Felix. All right, um, that is what we shall do. So we'll start off with the capsule. I'm going to go ahead and stick a parachute on there now because I've launched Sans Parachute before and unpleasant things do occur. <laughs> I mean, I was okay with it, but there were some really upset Kerbals. No, get up here. I didn't... 
Yep, I want two of you on there because we gonna come in like a rocket. See what I did there? Oh, there we go. That was difficult. And then I need to stick a crew capsule on here. Kadoink. Then the heat shield. Again, angry Kerbins. And this has only got to be suborbitable, which means 70,000 feet and back. So we don't got to have a huge, huge rocket. Uh, but we do need to be able to ditch what we don't need. So structural. Get a couple of decouplers. A couple. Only need one right here. I'll figure that out. <laughs> and I'm going with liquid fuel as my final stage because I want some controllability again. You know, um, it always comes down to controllability. All right, and then from here, we gotta get to 70,000 feet. So, how about a decoupler, I think? Yep, decoupler there. And then, it's gonna look very much, I think, like that. And then some aerodynamics. Like this. It ain't gonna be pleasant, but he should survive. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, let's switch over to crew and get Felix on board. Uh, Felix, you sir, congratulations. Your slot has opened up. You sure about this? We are not certified by any agency whatsoever, so, you know, sign here. <laughs> sign, sign the waiver. Let's give this a shot. 70,000 or bust. <clears throat> and this time I'm going to launch with my secondary stage full throttle so that I'm prepared for it. Here we go. Now, mainly these solid fuel boosters anywhere used to get through this thicker atmosphere, so, eh, you know, it's not a bad design. We'll take it. We'll take it. Felix looks a bit concerned. Jebediah, he, you know, <laughs> he's been here. Well, let's check out the interior here. Ah, check me out. That's where Jebediah is, is up there. Oh, man. Oh, oh, no good. Oh good, this is scary. <laughs> Look at that. Probably, probably want to revert flight. Uh, abandoned ship. Okay, revert to vehicle assembly. We gotta have some more stability on here. Not a big deal. I thought this might be the case. We'll just dump some more fins onto the second stage. And I think that should do just fine. So let's launch that one more time. That was a cool view from the uh, interior of the crew capsule. Let's see, can I f do the whole thing from in there? Woo! <laughs> no, I lose my nav ball. Boy, he's facing negative G's doing this too, guys. Oh, so that exit is actually towards the engines? That seems at best. <laughs> oh, we're maintaining. We're maintaining. Let's see, can I get out of here? Yeah, there we go. I should full throttle that too, by the way. Never make it out of the atmosphere otherwise. Yes, look at us go. 500 meters per second. Ooh, 70,000 feet's going to be a tough sell. Although, we are up to 800 meters per second, and just about to break 20,000 meters. I'm going to throttle back just a little bit, keep the heat off of us. And ditch the engine, because it was out of fuel. Now, I highly doubt this is going to be enough to... Uh, my camera was locked all kinds of funny. Uh, is this going to be enough? Oh, hey, we may actually get the suborbital flight, 83,000 meters. It is falling because we're still going through the atmosphere, but as long as it stays above that magical 70,000 meter mark, we will be okay. Now, let us see how, how my peeps are doing. Can you see in the windows? Let's turn the lights on. 
<laughs> Hello? Knock, knock, knock. Anybody home? Oh, yeah. I think we ought to be, uh, we ought to be in like Flynn. Our velocity is still above 500 meters per second, and we're already past 60,000 meters, so, eh. Our rate of decrease isn't so much that it's going to cause us to not achieve this goal. So the only thing left to worry about is re-entry, and since we didn't gain all that much speed getting up here, there it is. Boom. Check it out. Contract complete. Ferry a VIP safely to his destination. Suborbital sub 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 space flight on Kerbin complete. We have gotten three thousand two hundred and fifty shillings for that. Fantastic. Now I want to get them up and get them down. All right, there's the up part, and we'll cross our fingers on the down. Oh, we are so going to orbit this puppy soon. We are close, guys. We are, we are so close. Where's the moon? Can we see the moon from here? Maybe on the other side of the planet? I don't know. Oh, no. There's a galaxy. You know, it would be great if you could have intergalactic flight in Kerbin. That would be so, so cool. Or just another solar system. I, there's probably a mod out there. By the way, this is completely unmodded. This is bone stock. So... Uh, let's turn off the lights. He's sucking up my power. That's a neat effect. You notice how they just don't click on and click off. They fade. That's pretty cool. Wow, we are coming back really close to our launch site. I th Oh, you know what happened? We launched. We actually kind of came out over the ocean. Our trajectory was just slightly over the ocean. But this direction is east, and Kerbin rotates east. So... The planet has rotated underneath of us as we were floating around in space near our apoapsis. And so we have come back down inland. Cool beans. Now, if we can come back down at a reasonable speed, I would be very grateful. <laughs> oh, shama -ba ding dong Guys, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, they're fine. They're both smiling. They don't care. Ooh, 800 meters per second and under 8,000, 5,000 meters, 4,000 meters. Boy, we got to slow down a whole lot. A whole lot. A whole lot. A little bit more, a little bit more. Really need the parachute. Well. Well. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> punching beef monger <sighs> alas it was not meant to be worst part is you see this big red X up here that means we failed the contract and we lost money um, yeah yeah we lost money on that well I think guys I'm gonna revert to the assembly building and see what went wrong and yeah i think i'm gonna call the episode here thanks for following me along i've been your host dr t uh you guys have been great as always don't forget if you like what you see hit the like button down below if you disliked it smash that down button you know do what you feel man feel feel what you feel <laughs> and by all means leave me a comment let me know what you'd like to see or subscribe uh tell your friends tell your ma tell your pa this is kerbal space program peace